Good morning, everyone. Uh, I am representing uh, Ricardo Faundes, that uh, was the creator of this enigmatic presentation. So, um, I am biologist by training, but I try to do my best explaining this project. So this is part of uh, our new strategy uh, the, for the replacement of the at least the three main scientific stations that Chile has in the Antarctic Peninsula, including one in the South Shetland Islands, one in the middle part of the Antarctic Peninsula, and one inside the Antarctic Circle in the northern border of Marguerite Bay. So in order to the support and development of the National Antarctic Scientific Program, uh, we have designed a strategy of uh, trying to, uh, to cover at least 1,500 kilometers long uh, between uh, uh, an area that is very extensive inside the Antarctic Circle and the northern tip in, uh, in the King George Island, uh, including uh, our station in Union Glacier are more than 2,000 kilometers. Here you can uh, see the distances. For me, it's very small here. <laughs> I prefer to watch it there. Um, so, I don't have the control with this one. Okay, perfect. So, the northern in the northern tip is uh, Scudero Station. It's uh, our main platform in Antarctica in, in terms of science. It's just beside uh, uh, Frey Station, uh, our main uh, hub. Logistic have uh, combining uh, air, airplanes and vessels. And the second one is our main marine station. It's a small one, just for 30 person, 30 people. And uh, in, inside the Antarctic Circle is an old abandoned uh, station, Carvajal. The idea is to renew completely this station to remove the old installations, keeping only one building that have a, a uh, some significance in terms of history, but the rest of the buildings will be removed completely. I will show you something about this. Oh, perfect. Uh, some views of uh, Yelcho Station, Carvajal Station, uh, but especially uh, our scientific stations will be built and uh, uh, in comparison with the previous uh, buildings, uh, on almost the same size except for one. I will explain that later. But, uh, sorry, go back, please. Escudero Station uh, will have around 3,000 square meters. Uh, Yelcho Station in mid part of the peninsula, around 2,000, uh, almost 500 square meters, and uh, Carvajal Station, 3,400 square meters. This is the render of uh, Carvajal, Carvajal Station. I've recently finished the design and passed the, all the process of uh, the environmental evaluation, and uh, it's a modern building uh, completely uh, covered by uh, uh, new materials that I will describe later, and also using uh, photovoltaic panels and also wind power um, uh, after uh, uh, a survey that we have uh, made with uh, six different universities in Chile. Um, the building is completely devoted to science, and the main role of this station will, will be the study of the climate change dimension, three dimensions in the area in the northern part or northern tip of Marguerite Bay. In terms of energetic energy efficiency, efficiency the, the, these projects are, are under international standards in items such as uh, thermal envelope efficiency, uh, uh, requirements of the American Society of Heating, refri Refrigerating and Air Conditioning Energies, ASHRAE, <laughs> in thermal transmittances, polar zone and mechanical ventilation flow rates, 
uh, uh, on ventilation for acceptable indoor air quality with evaluations by means of computational thermal models and calculations to optimize, optimize aspects such as potable water savings, artificial light, uh, lighting and acoustics, ventilation, energy demands, and consumption for air conditioning. Uh, the passive architectural design criterion uh, uh, translate into a high efficiency thermal envelope, envelope uh, in accordance to the extreme climatic conditions of the area, uh, especially in the area of Carvajal. Um, uh, we are talking about um, an all year round building. Uh, the idea is to have 68 in, in summer and, and 22 uh, scientists and logistics in, uh, during winter, overwintering. Uh, so the laboratory building, which is, will be characterized by two envelopes and the first in contact with the exterior, composed of blown panels, and the second envelope with li uh, living models. Uh, there is also an intermediate space between the two envelopes, which contemplates a semi-climate side air by the rejection heat of the equipment in the technical plinth. Uh, so, some values of, uh, uh, of uh, the thermal transmittance and, uh, and the thermal isolation. If you want further details, I can provide you the presentation after this. I don't want to go deeper in that. <laughs> also, the envelope analysis of the, and the thermal models, uh, the, the determination of the study of thermal transmittance allowed to determine uh, uh, an energy saving product of the construction methods, uh, saving around 28% of the energy demand in comparison with the diesel. The building uh, is built in a, in a structure chassis consisting of pillars, beams, beams and a steel profile, braces on prefabricated concrete foundations which support the modular units. Uh, all the structures have to be modular because of uh, the entrance of operation of uh, our new icebreaker next year. The idea is to combine uh, both uh, in, the, in the following season. For our, for our uh, 61st uh, Antarctic expedition will be the summer between 2025 and 2026. Um, all the pillars of the structure are anchored to uh, the ground by means of the concrete foundations. Uh, for the interior of the structural chassis, modular units are considered fully assembled in the factory and ready to be installed on site. This is the modular design uh, uh, that was already tested in several Antarctic stations. This is joined the, the, the experience of other national Antarctic programs and uh, uh, the company that uh, has finally uh, win the call for the, uh, the engineer proposal uh, have uh, a, logging, a long experience in this. Also, we are covering uh, the non-conventional energies, uh, renewable energies, uh, additionally, to the um, uh, efficiency, the idea is to, to cover our stations with uh, different uh, types of uh, uh, non-conventional energies, up to the 30% of the energy of the stations. So uh, phot photovoltaic panels will provide a total of 54,000 kilowatt uh, hour annually as the wind turbines, each one is expected to generate 6,000 6, to 12,000 kilowatt hour per year. Depending on wind conditions, of course, and uh, among other factors, uh, during the operation phase, uh, the generation will have optimizations of the generating equipment as technological development progresses in order to increase the contributions to the non-conventional uh, energies. 
Also, uh, we are uh, innovating in a new program uh, that already started three years ago with the GEC from Germany, the Technical Cooperation uh, uh, agency from Germany. Uh, the idea is to analyze the technical and economic prefeasibility of an energy transformation and transition uh, of, of uh, to green hydrogen of uh, the Professor Julio Escudero Station. It's a uh, uh, we have the diagnosis at the moment. Uh, we are uh, starting the discussions about the possibility to have uh, a prototype in the near future. Uh, but the idea is to keep all the stations, the three stations that I mentioned in the near future, adaptable to this new technology. The, this is one of the terms of reference of, uh, of this project and, and will be very important in terms of the reduction of the fingerprint uh, and to make it probably not neutral, so it's negative in, in terms of carbon. So finally, the project considers the regulating and eliminating also the use of luminaires as uh, that emit blue light spectrum, preferring warm and green luminaires, uh, as well as prohibiting the installation of permanent luminaires in facing the sea and reducing unnecessary light, uh, lighting uh, as much as possible. Uh, and also, uh, according to the new current national regulations, uh, so focused in energy saving, environmental comfort, passive design, and saving water in all the steps, in, including the possibility to have the production of uh, hydrogen in Antarctic. So, so the aim is uh, the neutral carbon footprint in the near future, uh, but especially uh, with the uh, uh, the development of uh, new technologies related with uh, hydrogen, the idea is to have uh, carbon negative uh, stations in Antarctica uh, for the near future. So that's all. Thank you very much for your attention.